Hello guys, today I'm here with a new tutorial, and in this video I'm gonna show, how to create OpenCore EFI, for Mac OS Big Sur. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So guys, let's start. For this purpose, you'll require, OC Gen X, OC Builder, OpenCore Configurator, SSDTs and DSDTs according to your system or laptop, and latest version of Xcode, which can be downloaded from Mac App Store. Open OC Gen X, and as you can see, the version is 0.5.9, and this version will generate obsolete EFI, which cannot be used for Mac OS Big Sur, though, the only purpose of using OC Gen X is that, it creates good config.plist and few kexs as well. So, from here, you can choose your platform in accordance with your processor's code name. In my case it's Coffee Lake, select your code name, and click on kex tab. In kex tab, deselect all the kex except USB kex, and click on firmware tab, and here uncheck all the boxes, and click on SM BIOS tab. Here you have to add SM BIOS, in my case it's iMac Pro 1.1. Click on last tab and add your boot args, like dash v, and also your ALC ID, and click on generate EFI. And as you can see, the EFI has been generated on desktop, click on OK and close OC Gen X. Now, open the EFI folder, copy the config.plist and USB kext from kext folder, and delete the EFI folder. Now, open OC Builder, and from version, select release, and choose your destination, for creating the OC repository, and click on build. Remember. You must be connected to internet, as it downloads the files from GitHub. The file has been generated successfully, close OC Builder. Now, open the file, copy EFI folder to desktop, delete the folder, and empty the trash. Now, open the EFI folder, open OC folder, and as you can see here is no config.plist, so copy the config.plist file. Now, open driver folder, keep the necessary drivers, and delete the rest. Go back, open kext's folder, keep the necessary kexts and delete the rest, and also copy the USB kext from desktop to the folder. Now go back, copy DSDTs and SSDTs to ACPI folder, and now, open config.plist, using open core configurator. In ACPI tab, add DSDTs and SSDTs by browsing to the folder. Make sure that they are enabled, and now go to kext tab, remove previous list and add the kext by browsing to the kext folder. Check if they are enabled or not, now go to UEFI tab. Click on drivers, and add the drivers by browsing to the EFI folder. And as you can see, here is open canopy.efi driver, which is responsible for loading GUI bootloader, but it will not be activated, unless you change the picker mode to external from miscellaneous tab. Now close open core configurator, save the config.plist, and now the EFI is ready for your system, and you are ready to boot. Finally we have created EFI for Mac OS Big Sur, which is fully functional. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you have any questions, just comment down below, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe, and for more updates stay connected, and have a great day.